Welcome. Welcome to the Northern Badger Wrestling Classic. I'm Kevin Black for Badger State Wrestling, brought to you by Wisconsin National Guard with Jake Filkins from Prescott, Wisconsin. We're commentating here at 106 pounds. We've got Riley Knops from Glenwood City and John Olson from Osceola. Uh, not much going on here. We're getting close to the out of bounds mark here. Knops was a state champion last year. Glenwood City, he's a junior. He was the 103 pound state champ in Division Three. John Olson was at 112 pounds last year. He's um, down to 106 this year. He's a he's a really good individual, and um, I think he's going to surprise some people this year down in weight class. Right, and, and uh, he was wrestling 113 with a new weight class this year, and this is his first tournament down to 106, and it's, he seems to have adjusted well to the weight. Yeah, he had a good win in the semifinals. Riley Knops beat Cal Gerber in the semifinals from Cameron. Gerber finished third. Olsen defeated David Walker from Spring Valley in the semifinals. One would say trying to get a Russian tie here. Olsen's defending with his head very nicely. No action so far here. You mentioned that Olsen came down from 113. This is Knops' first time down at 106 as well. He's wrestled 113 throughout the season. He defeated Phil Opelt earlier this year. Opelt will see at 113 pounds. He's in the finals for Nielsville. 30 seconds left in the match, still 0-0 here with a nice shot attempt by Olsen, defended by Glenwood City. One of the things Riley Knops is really good with is, is controlling the ties on his feet. He's got good hand control. He's really hard for individuals to penetrate on him. Nice high crotch right there. That was a really nice shot. Good penetration, cut the corner real well, and Olsen couldn't do anything to defend it. Yeah, it started off those hand ties. You know, Riley, Riley, he, last year at the state tournament, he had a couple matches that came right down to the wire. He won two in, in overtime, including in the finals, but he just constantly kept pressure on his opponent, so he did a good job there. Just constant pressure with his hands and um, opened up a great shot. He took one shot and scored. And, and that's what I like to see as a, as a coach and, you know, as a, as a wrestling fan, is guys who take shots and score exactly. off them. Exactly, and the thing is, it doesn't have to be a lot of shots as long as you're taking quality shots to get the takedown. Right. A lot of wrestlers think that if I take a bunch of shots, then I'm going to be successful. Well, if you take a bunch of bad shots, you're not going to be successful, whereas if you take one or two calculated oh, shots, no. you have a better off chance of succeeding with them. Exactly. Riley doing a good job now. He's got a, you can see he's had that elbow. He's like in his own chest, almost turned Olsen over. Now he's coming back with a half. This is, this is where Riley won his state title last year. In, the, in double overtime in the finals, he rode, the, rode his opponent out uh, to win to win a state title. So he's really tough on top. He's hard to get away from, a lot of pressure. He can ride bars. He puts the legs in. Olsen's one of those lighter weight kids that you can bend in half, and he's not going to bend over. He's so flexible. Yeah. He's, he's strong, too. He's just strong. He was strong at 113. There, Riley just does such a good job. At, he stays calm when he's on top and just floats around with those with those wrestlers. Never never panics in that top position. He so. does does a very good job of keeping his hips into the bottom wrestler, not letting any separation for the bottom wrestler to wiggle around, you know, and get a chance to get an escape. Riley had a tight match in the quarterfinals. He he defeated Sean Sonnenteg from Kadat. It was only two to zero. Uh, Riley really controlled the match, um, but it was it was a a 2-0 match, always close on the on paper. I wonder how it could be that close, but um, Riley, you know, returning state champion, people expect him to dominate everybody and, and roll through this tournament, but there's some tough kids in here at 106 pounds. Yeah, and that, that puts a lot of pressure on, on the individual, knowing that people are expecting you to just cruise through kids, and uh, he's done a great job so far of just handling that and, you know, wrestling as a repeat state champion now. Right, and Olsen did a good job there, getting hand control first. Nice shot. And he, he was able to create that space, so that was a really good shot. There's 25 seconds left. Oh, Knopf did a great job at re-attacking there on that shot, and he's, he might come away with the takedown. Olsen's still inside that leg, though, so there's no score yet. Knopf's all the way behind him, and, and this is where he's good. He can cling on. But look at Olsen, keep moving his he's, hips. He's, elevating he's, getting, he's gaining elevation, that's what he did. That's what he did, so he got a takedown. Five seconds left in the second period, and he got a takedown to go ahead, three to two. That's good wrestling right there by John Olsen. 
Yeah, great back and forth battle right there. Nice little scramble with Olsen coming out on top with a two point takedown. Yeah, it started off his attack. So it's funny, we've, we've wrestled four minutes and there's only been two shots taken, but both of the wrestlers that took the shots scored with that, with that attack. So um, three to two in, in the third period. Now we're tied up, three three. Kind of a half shot there for Olsen. I don't know, more, he, didn't, he didn't need that. Looks like more so of a setup almost, but he stayed down there. And Came up nicely though, now we're back in even position. Both wrestlers hand fighting here, trying to work for a better position to shut up a shot. That first period, Knopf's really controlled the ties on the on the feet, and now it looks like Olsen is, is back, back on some offense here, attacking that tie as well. See, he's got that hand control. Hard for, for Knopf's to get behind him yeah. with that hand control. Olsen, did a great Olsen job of holding, job. On, holding on to that hand to make sure that, that Rowley couldn't screw around to get that two points. Without having that hand free, he was not able to Screw around and score behind the hips. Yeah. So these are two top wrestlers in the state. Obviously, Knops is ranked number one in the state at 106 in Division Three, being a state champion last year. But Olsen is is, is going to make some noise here in D2. Oh, good job to switch his head across to that other side. That was great technique right there. He was in deep on the leg, and Olsen Olsen fought a little bit with some hip pressure, and and Knops switched his head to the other side on a double and just lifted him up. That was really nice. Takedown for Knopf, go ahead five to three. Yeah, he's doing a great job on top here, just controlling Olsen on bottom, we're using his legs here. He knows he's ahead. He's gonna try to get some back points here. Oh, he's kind of easing his way back. over, yeah. He's gotta watch himself a little bit there too, but there he's getting some near fall. And with 25 seconds, I think he can just sit here and get his three back points and finish out the match. You know, they, they, here's a difference too about somebody like Knopf's compared to some of the other matches we watched was he got that takedown with a head five to three and kept going for more points and, and was looking to score the next point. He wasn't gonna just sit on a two point lead. You see Olsen's gonna wrestle to the end. So that three near fall, is, it, those sometimes make the difference between being a state champion. Well, absolutely. I mean, with a five to three lead, you get a reversal and the, the match is tied. So getting those three back points were crucial to seal the victory for him. Right, so there Riley Knops is your Northern Badger Wrestling Classic champion at 106 pounds from Glenwood City.